have you heard the state of this? Be prepared. You're going to get 10 or so minutes with fucking Doc Cotton. God rest her soul. Whatever the fuck she is. Um, and a hundred faces me now. I am Doc Cotton. Enjoy this video. Don't grind your way through it. I'm gonna, I, need, I like to try and do silly accents. I can do silly accents now. I can go high like peach. I can talk like this. Hello. Hello, I'm Daniel. I can't do that. Newcastle played the other day. I lost, lose my voice, right? I'm a football fan. I could still do a couple of voices, but my throat honestly feels like I'm about to just gargle up loads of cum. Not that I know what that feels like. Anyway, welcome to the channel, anybody new. Here's your intro. <laughs> even, <laughs> even the cops, like, how many you smoke a day? I probably probably smoke about 20 a day. I've got a bad diet and I smoke about 20 a day. I'm producing a lot of moisture in my mouth today as well. I am disgusting. Honestly, yeah, anybody new? Hello, welcome. Do you have my new um, baseball jersey as well? I like, I don't know how much I like if it shows like, hey, 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 if I do like a button down. Why do I need a pen? I'm not a real news guy. Like, hey, oh my, oh my, hey, get back out. Oh my God. I am the epitome of sex symbol. Is that the right way of saying that? I'm a sexy man. <laughs> Sorry, I'm doing the opposite of the tease. I'm doing a, I'm doing an untease. I'm, I'm putting myself back. Would you like it though? Yeah, on the back it says Goku. I know it does say Goku. It just says Goku, doesn't it? I'm sure it does. Zero zero. It's from an awesome website called Anime Ape, and you can get like Pokemon One, Dragon Ball, Rick and Morty, superheroes, whatever. It's a freaking cool website, and I love me a baseball jersey. Uh, so. Yeah, I think I'll probably do like a white shirt underneath. Get the whole white and orange vibe going. <laughs> and any lovely ladies out there lucky enough to talk to this, I can think of one in particular. Then, uh... You are one lucky gal. Boris Orange. <laughs> As I sit here with my dot cotton voice uh, and pick something that's sticking out my big toe. The, um, I don't know if I showed you anything. Look at the, the Lego Optimus Prime up satchel and how beautiful, how bloody beautiful is that son of a gun? I fucking love you, Optimus Prime. I don't even look at you, I'm that fat, I can't turn my head around. Do you have your copies as well, visuals? Remember the rules, soda coli or coffee for when we do the news because them's the rules. I don't make them, I just think of them and you do them. I need to sort it. That's like a bowl cut at the minute, isn't it? Just, maybe I'll just do it myself. I have been told, I don't know if you're watching, you, I don't know if you're watching, have told me, just get a haircut. And I'm like, I can't. It's like, what's the excuse? I'm fucking fat and lazy. <laughs> is that better? This is my own version of Jeffrey Dahmer. Jeffrey, Jeffrey Dahmer. Jeffrey Dahmer. This is my own, like, in the club. Like, hey man, you want to come back to my apartment? I'll make you a coke and I'll put some stuff in it and I'll spike you and I'll I'll get I'll get a raging boner over your ghibli insides. Imagine having that fetish. This is people can be discussed in any way. Um I actually do have lovely eyes, don't I? I really do. Hey, you're quite handsome actually. And this is the uh the version of like, hey! Even was that? That's my fucking phone there. Where did that come from? Uh, th even though that was creepy, this is the version of like, I, I'm nearly 30, but I, I can still be a little boy. I'm a real boy. Oh my God. I'm a real boy. Look at me. Look at me. I'm a real boy in my Batman PJs and my Dragon Ball Z shirt. I'm a real boy. You know, I come to think of it, the 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 silver chain sticking out with a little bit of chest hair. This is like a very um, homosexual look, isn't it? Is it? I'm not a fashion guy. I feel like it is, and I feel empowered by it. Maybe I need a boyfriend. 
but yeah, and there, if there is anybody new coming on the channel, like, hey, I'll check out what this dickhead's talking about. You are not going to be here for long, are you? Imagine, imagine, imagine. Is that my own hair? Imagine if you you stumble across this one day and you're from Carlo, and then you just see me walking down the street, fucking. Oh, you'd be like. Fucking see that fat mongoloid on fucking YouTube. And I'd just be like, hello. I've, I've just been to buy some fuck your cats. What you been doing? You'd be like, fuck off. And I'd just be like, hello, 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 hello. Like, you know how when people talk to like um, babies or puppies, they're like, oh, is that, that puppy? Hello, hello, magical, hello. That's how they do it, don't they? You, you automatically do that when you see like, well, not so much babies. And I, I, my mates, I've got kids, awesome. But when they're babies, uh, I remember a certain part when I was holding the baby and I was like, oh my God, I'm going to break it. But like dogs, you can be like, rawr. But um, when I see a baby, I'm just sort of like, suck dog. Um, but like, if it's if it's, a, if it's a dog, you are like, What does Venom think? Can I get it off? Get off Venom, you fucking fat twat. What does Venom, it's very dusty. What does Venom think of the hair? Venom with this hairstyle. Now I need to fluff it out a bit more. <laughs> it's like a fucking nutty professor. Ah, Eddie hungry. Eddie, I, I don't want to eat chocolate. Uh, that, you get that if you've seen the, the Venom film. Eddie hungry. I need a, that would be a cool little Halloween mask, wouldn't it? Or like a wrestler. Oh my God, who comes down the hurricane hard man? And that's how I'd come to the ring. That one there actually looks a bit, a bit, a bit more psychotic. Like I'm a, I'm a goalkeeper. Um, I'm a goalie eh? and an ice hockey teamy. Eh? That's me. You know we got the the mask like hey, hey I'm, I'm from Canada eh? I like hockey. Do you like hockey? Uh, that was cheesy beans burp. I really should have been swallowed. Now I thought very, I should have said that some images have come across my head that aren't right for. What is my life? What is, what is hello, hello tickle? What is my life tickle, tickle, tickle? <laughs> just told you I keep producing a slide, but I don't know if every time you've noticed I've come close to the camera, I've got like that, a bit of spits just, He's done it about four times. I'm like, maybe we should bring it up. I don't know if the visual guys, the visual guys, the visuals have noticed it. But anyway, we have it here for the news. I ramble for too long at the start of the night. No wonder I can't keep audience retention. There again. There again. I am the greatest YouTuber on my street. So I'm going to get the views. Call me. Do I not look like Logan Paul? Logan Paul. See this. If anybody knows Logan Paul, send this video to him or just, just clip this bit. Send it to Logan and be like, hey, look, and I'll be like, hey, look, I can drink some pram. I'm six years old. <laughs> we are here for the news and news and news. I'm going to try, depends what story hits us, I'm going to try and do my little stupid dumbness. I don't know if I can because it hurts. But visuals, let's start off with story number uno, uno bruno, uno bruno, uno, uno, uno bueno, bueno, what bueno. Bueno, si, 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 por favor, dos prestaña, por favor, bueno, si, si, si. This one, uh, the picture of him, this is the kind of thing I can actually see him doing. But, Florida man, 37, arrested for kidnapping 27 people and forcing them to play Yahtzee for 36 hours straight. Imagine, imagine catching that many people. I actually don't know what the game Yahtzee is. I've heard of it when like shows and whatnot, but I don't actually know how you play it. I know you have to go Yahtzee. Um, I think it's the dice roll in one or some shit. It's something like that. But imagine being kidnapped like, oh my God, what happened? Was he a murderer? Did he, did he, did he try and slice you? Was he a bit sexually um, aggressive? And I'm like, no, no, he was all right, you know. He, he, would, he wouldn't give it that bad, you know. Would you play Yahtzee for a bit? He'd be like, oh, okay. I me and four and twenty six of my people just played some Yatsi for thirty seven hours. Okay, and then what else happened? And, and nothing. I lost my fucking game, and I just went here. Oh, uh, um, no, Jeffrey Dahmer shit. No, no, no. Did Jeffrey John the acid? The dead bodies. Just wanted to play Yatsi. 
how how long do you sell this guy for? Like, oh my god, we've got a new. Uh, why am, I, why am I just like, yeah, like I'm doing it in your ear? Oh my God, we've got a new guy, a new, new inmate coming. He's a kidnapper. He kidnapped 37 people. Oh my God, oh my, what did he do? I played the Yahtzee with them. That's how I imagine him talking. Look at that face. I played the Yahtzee, Yahtzee with them. And then what did he do next? Nothing, I let him gun him. Yeah, he started as someone else and then he ended Geordie as well. Don't know why. <sighs> At least that's a nice kidnapping. If you are to be kidnapped, God forbid. I'm doing a lot of that today, and it's nearly Halloween. I don't know if I'm doing it right. May the Lord honor some enemy. Honor some enemy. Sacred prayer. Turn water into wine. Get pished. Um, but where am I going? Wherever. Um, sometimes it's fun to do a little tickling. Like, you know, if your mate's ticklish and like, they proper lose control with the nearly piss the pants, it's funny. Or sometimes you're having a bit of a flirt with a girl. You're like, hey, take a lesson off. And you tiglish and you go, ha, ah, oh my god, I fell on you. You know what I mean? Like, a bit of a player, so I do that kind of shit. Um, but, this is the kind of tiggling I don't understand, nor I don't know if it's a tiggly part of the body. But, the Ohio Butthole Tiggling Bandit. So it was a bandit that tickled buttholes. Um, escaped custody, was it? And is on a, a, a is being hunted by the police. So if you're out in Ohio, you can, you need to keep your buttholes locked up. Like, how do you even... Because imagine, imagine if somebody... I was actually going to take on my butthole there. <laughs> and now I don't know what to do. Do I, do I carry on? Or do I... <laughs> what do I do? Do I tickle my ass for, like, five people in the world to see and make this a weird softcore porn? I don't, no, we're not going <laughs> How do you tickle a butthole? Oh, I was going to demonstrate. We'll move on to the next. I'm going to break down. Um, this one's concerning because all it says is missing baby found in sandwich. There's a lot of questions we need to ask here. Um, okay, was the baby alive and was it a normal human sized baby inside of a regular sandwich? Was it a normal human-sized baby inside of an overly large sandwich? Someone that's like somehow sellotape jags of bread together. What really justifies a sandwich? Is two bits of bread together a sandwich? Was the baby, God forbid, in some kind of ham form and then put in a sandwich? And when they found the baby, had it already been part eaten? Or were we all A-OK? -okay? This is a scary couple of questions. I don't understand. This is what. So what how can you even like? Oh, I they they begin get my sandwich. I'm starving. You go, okay, Trevor. I think we got some Pepto Bismol in the cupboard. I don't know what Pepto Bismol is. Some Pepto Bismol in the cupboard, and then they put it in. And then hey, Vivian, there's a goddamn baby in my sandwich. There's a goddamn baby in my sandwich. Or was it a case of like, I'm going to eat me a baby. I ate two babies. What what scenario is it? Hopefully it's one where randomly a baby should appear in somebody's sandwich. And i like, what the fuck? And that's how the problem is resolved. That is the one we're going to go for. Hopefully not in slices of ham. That's fucking disgusting. All right, squeaky bricks. Now, we all have heard those stories about, like, uh, or you see it on the films and shit, where somebody gets caught with drugs and, like, that's not mine. They planted them. Uh, this is probably the best excuse I've ever heard. A woman was found with drugs, and she told the police that the wind blew them into her pocket. So when she, when she was getting questioned, she was saying, like, excuse me, ma'am, have you got anything on you that you should uh, inform us about now? She's like, no, I'm okay. I got nothing on me. You're fine. I don't do drugs. I don't got to go. Then how do you explain this? Well, that's an easy story. I guess you didn't know about the wind. Have you heard about the wind? Well, sometimes the wind blows stuff, and it goes up in the air and into my pocket. And that's how it happened. The police were like, yeah, you're probably going down there, right, love? The wind's a bit of a bugger. This is the true criminal here. Hopefully they didn't buy it, because how... Imagine if you're walking along the street, it's like, oh, and a wind all of a sudden comes... Oh, oh, you know, you're like, oh, bloody hell! There's an old station in me pocket! How does that fucking work? And if it does work, actually, 
maybe we can blow some money into my pocket that technically when they go, hey, that's my £10 in your pocket, you stole from me. I go, whoa, son, I didn't steal from ye. It was the wind. The wind took it from ye and I got it. It was the wind. Imagine, imagine the shit in court. Like, what's your defence? It was the wind. Well, why did you murder that person? Yeah, the bloody wind. I had a knife, right? And the wind made me go, Phew. Well, how did you rob that bank? Well, I, I was walking along with a big gun in my sack to put money in and the wind just made me go, oh, no. What, what bullshit excuse? Back to Florida. I, I don't mean to be picking on you this week, Florida, but you have a, a few crazy citizens because Florida man... Um, a Florida man uh, on drugs kills his imaginary friend and turns himself in. What the fuck? Imagine, imagine the police in Florida absolutely um, bespoke, bespoke, bespoke. That's not the right word. Absolutely, you know, overwhelmed with like, oh my god, you've committed a murder. And he's given it. A fucking like, a f oh, this is I've, I've seen my mates the concert the at bars like this. I uh, fucking, I yeah, fucking kill my pal, pal. You're different now. You know, the Lord Jordan this week. I is a Florida man, uh, Florida. I you know, fucking I'm getting away with it. Yeah, fucking the palace deed. I fucking deed. I fucking killed him. I don't like, Oh my god, where's the body? Where's the murder weapon? I fucking nukes my knife. Here's a knife. There's no blood in it. You must have cleaned it. I different clean it. Different bleed. Oh my god, you killed somebody though. How did they bleed? I well, you fucking die. It's imaginary. You fucking stabbed him up. He's dead. The police are like. What? And he's like, ah, you fucking that night, I've got an imaginary pal, fucking piss me off, right? Fucking went to pub, he owed me five, I didn't give him five, I saw so stabbed in the fucking knee, deed. And they're like, oh, you haven't actually killed anybody then? Nah, nah, you have my imaginary pal. But he did the right thing by turning himself in. At least he committed a murder, albeit a fake, non existent, didn't really happen murder, and turned himself in. So he's kind of a good citizen. Well, that different night, nah, nah, killed me fucking best pal. Another one that I find completely baffling, and I'm going to assume you guys will as well, but murder suspect who used big penis defence was found not guilty. Right, so you're a suspect in a murder. Uh, there's been a murder. There's been a diagnosis. Murder. And, um, oh no, wait, was that murder shit? I can't remember all of them now. Whichever, right? So, oh, you're on trial today. You're a suspect in, in the, the murder case of Larry O'Neill. Sorry if there's a real Larry O'Neill out there. Hopefully you're not dead and you're all right. Um, how do you plead? But fucking not guilty. How, co how come you are not guilty? I got a fucking massive cock. Oh, well, well. well not. You killed somebody, potentially. The evidence is there. Massive cock. Away you go. What does that mean for me? What does that mean for maybe you? People out there, oh, you definitely committed the murder. Why? You got a tiny little cock. And I'll be like, oh, I love me. And little Willie did it. Must be me. Must be me. Little Willie. Little Bob. Did the job? <gasps> oh my god! How did, how did you know we did it? Well, I got a little knob, so we did the job. Oh my god! I am fucking brilliant. So yeah, how does that? How does big penis plea even work? To so that cover it could be covered in blood, could be covered in murder weapon. Cops could arrest him. Ah, oh, put your hands on the ground. You definitely did it. I couldn't have done it. Why? Look at this size of me cock, and they're like, oh my god! It makes perfect sense. Murder weapon, covered in blood. But a huge penis can't have been you on the account of your massive penis. Big knob, shut your gob. Little knob did the job. Framed. This this is how my penis looks. Like a t that's that's it there. Boy oh boy, there's going to be some lucky men out there. And that's the news portion of the video done. It's time to go into the sports and weather, where we're going to take a look at. Uh, we're going to take a look at. Oh my god, this week's sports. We have a what the fuck knockout. Like, what the fuck is this knockout? Sports, yeah, whatever. Fuck you. Who? How? Who? Where? What? When? Why? Did he got knocked out? Well, all you saw is that he fucking come and then fucking... Yeah, and, but he doesn't seem drunk. He just seems very bad at balancing. And he he fell. Hopefully not to his death. Well, it wouldn't be the other guy anyway because you know, a big cock didn't do the job. But how, how did that take place? The weather. 
man this week's weather. It's it's uh, raining speed, and he's got too much speed for this boy's face. One of them speed bag things. I could not do one of them. And and Gob did the job, killed him, wipe out. And it's time for Dan's happy ending. Where if you haven't got yourself off yet. It's time for me to do it. That's right, with a little. And one sec. So you're ready. You ready? You ready to get off? Ready to go all aboard the uh, station? I semi picked my nose there, and I didn't mean to. All aboard the uh, uh, station. This is where I come in and go. Blap, 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 and you go. Oh! I get that reaction every time I've done the job. Oh! Atons, happy ending. Is is Vivian Westwood? Vivian Westwood. There's a cow. What do you think is gonna happen? What bam? Cow, cow won. Cow, eh, cow's got a massive. No, cows are women. Therefore, they well they could have knobs. Cow, we could. There could be a bull that's like I identify as a dairy cow. Therefore, whatever. But pow right in the kisser. Am I right? Am I right? That you officially got off. Well, visuals, hopefully you did enjoy the uh, the news. I'm going to slide back in my lovely new shirt that's very soft and it's not silk, but it's like mm, Danelle. And um, I'm going to jiggle my belly. It's not jiggling as much. I'm usually a bit more jiggly. I'm usually very jiggly. Not today. My voice is really really is on fire but that was the news hopefully you'd enjoy if you did enjoy well booski booski let me know in the comments below what your favorite toe is and remember dan's thought of the day is if you go outside you prepare to be not inside visual slave for watching what was giving you and keep on keeping out <laughs>